Hi guys, welcome back. You know, I was just thinking that I've never said why I started this YouTube channel. Yes, but I'm planning to do a video about it very soon. Like in general, the reason that what I started this YouTube channel is about self-improvement and development. So that's why talking about self-improvement, development, that's why I decided to tell you about five things that you should know before coming to study in China. Number one, where to find schools. So you can find schools on different websites, yeah, through agencies or by applying by, by yourself. There, there are a lot of agencies that they apply for people who want to study in China. Yes, so yeah, but be careful with those because sometimes you can be scammed. So you have to try to find a friend who can, you know, who can guide you in the right direction. Or you can just apply online. Yes, just they just put in the name and then they're gonna show you the procedures how you can apply. So that's one way. But if you don't want to go in through that hassle, you can still find agencies. Number two, you can find a scholarship. So the first scholarship is a full scholarship, which is like which is the Chinese government scholarship where everything is paid for you. The second one is partial scholarship where you have to pay your room and then the school pay for the school fees and then you have to take care of yourself yeah but while you're here you can also if you have a partial scholarship you can still apply for other kind of scholarship that can help you through the year like uh here in Nanjing, they have nanjing government scholarship or just me scholarship and so more yes if you can't you can't find the full scholarship or partial scholarship you can still pay your school fees which are between like three thousand to ten thousand dollars according to the school the school rankings yeah number three if you're from a country that they speak french or spanish or portuguese you better start to learn english because here they use chinese or english so you can study in two languages either chinese either English and even if you're learning Chinese they're gonna use English to teach you Chinese number four there are limitations to work study options I remember when I came here f six years ago it was forbidden for students to work in China like but now there are many changes in regulations so like in in some cities they started to introduce the study work visa and if you want to do the internship they can give you internship permit but it's a little bit tricky because you have to get the permission from the school so you have to make sure that you have good grades and a perfect attendance yeah you have to be here for a while and then apply for the study and work visa or the internship permit later because they have to check your grades and your attendance number five there is age limit to each degree for bachelor degree you have to be under 25 years for master's degree you have to be under 35 and for phd you have uh, to be under 40 yes if you want to come to study in china i think that's the most of the things they have to know right now if you have any question about studying in china you can leave it in the comment section and maybe i can make another video answering to your questions yeah so i've been hearing a lot of negativity like hey studying in china this that there you know lots of things but according to my experience everything has been good so far i'm in a school where i did my bachelor degree and now i'm doing my master's degree at the same school and yeah everything is okay i won't say like everything is perfect no that's impossible but i'm happy so far i'm okay yes yeah, so yeah that's the thing that i can say about the education everything depends on you they give you everything that you need, so it's up to you for, you know, how you're going to use it. Like, the advantage of studying in China, it just, it opens your eyes because you see a lot of things around you. Yes, and well, according to my experience, I think that studying in China is a good opportunity because you have, you have a scholarship. If you like, yeah, you can find a scholarship. Another thing, you can find a job after when you graduate. You can find a job in China or in other countries and 
another another advantage you can also create your own company here where they, there are incubators that help young startups to create their own companies and also for if you speak another language that is not english so it's really good for you because like let's say if you speak french and then you come here and you're gonna use english and chinese at the same time so that means that you're gonna learn two more languages yeah for me another advantage i love food and yeah there are a lot of there are different type of dishes different type of restaurants from everywhere in the world like thai food japanese food yes it's just like you're gonna discover all those tastes from everywhere in the world and also there are a lot of way like life is more easy like of transportation yeah, everything is just quick and easy. So I feel like if you want to see a di different world, it's also a, it, 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 it also helps you to open your mind, your eyes, and see what you can do better for your country. Which is one of the reasons that I started this YouTube channel, just because I want to share what I see here and then you can do it back home. Because I feel like we have, we, we can learn from each other, yeah. We just have to open our eyes. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Yes, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and see you on Friday with another one. Till then, take care. Goodbye, thank you.